पढ़ना चाहते हो वन इज टू वन में या वन इज टू टू में या फिर वन इज टू सिक्स में तो डिपेंडेंट अपॉन योर चॉइस वी विल फिक्स द बैच एंड देयर विल बी द लाइव इंटरेक्टिव क्लासेस राइट नाउ कमिंग टू द थर्ड थिंग वी हैव अ वेरी गुड डेडिकेटेड एकेडमिक मेंटर टीम हु कंटिन्यूअसली ट्रैक हाउ यू आर प्रोग्रेसिंग हाउ यू आर डूइंग इन द क्लास वर्क इन द होमवर्क एवरीथिंग एंड डेफिनेटली दिस विल हेल्प यू टू गेट द फीडबैक फ्रॉम आस एंड दिस फीडबैक विल हेल्प यू टू uh improve yourself right coming to the fourth thing that we cover the syllabus as per your school examination schedule sometimes it happens that the topics which are already done in your school and it is coming in your school exam we have not done it yet right so we will choose those topics first we will do those topics and then we will move on to the rest of the topics so like this we will make you totally prepared before going to the school exam as well as the board exam ठीक है ना हाय नंदिनी हाउ आर यू गुड आफ्टरनून बेटा चलो तो लेट्स सी व्हाई डू यू थिंक द स्विफ्ट लर्न इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम एनी अदर प्लेटफॉर्म बिकॉज़ वी हैव सम की फीचर्स विद अस जैसे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी मेंटेन द डिटेल प्रोग्रेस रिपोर्ट ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी स्टूडेंट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड जैसे आपके स्कूल में भी पीटीएम होता है इधर भी पीटीएम होता है आपका प्रोग्रेस रिपोर्ट आपको मिल जाएगा एंड इट विल बी टोटल एक पूरा डिटेल प्रोग्रेस रिपोर्ट रहेगा जैसे आपका अंडरस्टैंडिंग कैपेसिटी क्या है आप सब कुछ अच्छे से आ, कर रहे हो या नहीं होमवर्क आप ठीक ठाक से सबमिट कर रहे हो या नहीं एंड वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट वो आप ऑलवेज सबमिट कर रहे हो या नहीं तो एवरीथिंग विल बी गिवन ओवर देयर एंड योर पेरेंट्स विल बी एबल टू इंटरेक्ट विथ आस डिरेक्टली इन द पीटीएम एंड इफ दे हैव टू शेयर एनी थिंग दे कैन शेयर विथ आस वी आर ऑलवेज देयर टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स राइट Yes, Nandini, I'm also fine. Thank you very much. Coming to the second thing that we have the SAT Swift Learn Academic Test Series, which happen in every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You will be able to uh, uh, perform over there, and your rank along with the name will be given on the leaderboard. Right. Coming to the third and the fourth most important thing is practice. So as you already know that practice makes a man perfect. So after completing the topic, what you have to do is practicing the question answers. If you don't practice the question answer, your concepts will not be clear totally, है ना? तो हम पढ़ने के time concept हमारा seventy percent या फिर eighty percent clear हो जाते हैं. पर हम जब क्वेश्चन आंसर सॉल्व करते हैं ना तब सबसे अच्छा कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर होता है एंड इट विल रिमेन इन योर माइंड ऑल द टाइम ठीक है तो वी हैव बोथ द सब्जेक्टिव एज वेल एज ऑब्जेक्टिव टेस्ट पेपर्स तो असेसमेंट मॉक टेस्ट बहुत सारे रहता है तो आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग ईच एंड एवरी टॉपिक यू कैन गो विद दो टेस्ट पेपर्स एंड यू कैन सोल्व द क्वेश्चन आंसर अगेन एंड अगेन तो ऑब्जेक्टिव में जैसे आपके बोर्ड एग्जाम में आते हैं एम सी क्यूज फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स ट्रू फॉल्स ऑड वन आउट तो ऐसे भी होगा एंड सब्जेक्टिव टेस्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द थ्री मार्क फोर मार्क फाइव मार्क का क्वेश्चन है ना सो दिस विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू राइट द आंसर बिकॉज समटाइम्स यू मिस सम ऑफ द की वर्ड्स और कहाँ केमिकल इक्वेशन एड करना है कहाँ लाइक एग्जाम्पल्स एड करना है आप भूल जाते हो राइट एंड दिस इज दिस विल हेल्प यू टू राइट द प्रॉपर आंसर एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव अ गुड टीचर ग्रुप हु विल चेक योर आंसर एंड गिव यू द टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स हाउ टू राइट द आंसर्स वेट टू इंक्लूड एनी डायग्राम और नॉट सो एवरीथिंग विल यू विल गेट इट एंड टू एक्सपीरियंस ऑल दिस थिंग्स वट यू हैव टू डू You have to book the trial class. तो ये हमारे सारे के सारे trial uh, classes free है Thank you very much, Prince. How are you? तो ये कभी भी book कर लो trial class and enroll your name in our regular batches so that we can meet every day and we will discuss a lot of different type of topic, whatever is coming in your school exam as well as the board exam, है ना तो फॉर देम हु हैज नॉट सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल लेट मी रिमाइंड यू टू सब्सक्राइब इट नाउ एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू विल नेवर मिस एनी ऑफ द अपडेट ऑफ द अपकमिंग सेशंस 30 मिनट्स पहले आपको नोटिफिकेशन आ जाएगा एंड यू विल बी एबल टू अटेंड ऑल द डिफरेंट सेशंस एंड यस प्रिंस द फीस एंड एवरीथिंग विल बी मेंशनड इन आवर वेबसाइट प्लीज डाउनलोड आवर ऐप इन योर मोबाइल फोन स्विफ्ट लॉन ऐप एंड ऑल्सो गो थ्रू ऑल द कॉन्टैक्ट डिटेल्स तो कॉन्टैक्ट डिटेल्स में आपको कॉन्टैक्ट भी मिल जाएगा एंड यू कैन कॉल टू आवर टीम आवर टीम विल हेल्प यू विथ ऑल दिस थिंग्स द ट्रायल क्लास ट्रायल क्लास इज फ्री बेटा ओके 
and regular batches fees everything you will get to know okay so do not forget to like comment and share also and let us now start with another uh, today's session so today as i have already mentioned that today we will st uh, start with the uh, another type of sense organ we have already completed with eyes in the first two sessions so we have already discussed how we can see through the eyes uh, what are the different parts of the eyes what are the uh, function of the different parts of the eyes and so on and also we have discussed about the different defects which are uh, yes so today we will uh, we are going to discuss about the second type of sense organ that is the ear so we have already studied about the eye the different parts of the eye and their function as well as the defects of the eyes in the first two session so this is the third session of sense organ chapter which you have in icsc board class 10th syllabus so we will mainly discuss about the ear today okay chalo so mainly in today's session we are going to discuss a very small portion which is there in ear so the organ of uh, hearing you already know organ of hearing and balance is our ear the different parts of the ear what are the different parts within it and what are the function of those different parts and finally the total function of the ear okay so i hope that all of you are ready and in between i will ask you most of the question whoever will give me most of the question he or she will be the student of the session theek hai chalo now uh, let's start with some activity okay so try to hear something Have you heard something? What is that? Can anybody tell me in the chat box? We have heard something, right? Yes. What is that? Okay. what was the second sound and what is this sound okay let's move on to the fourth sound quickly tell me what is this sound about okay so what is this sound Let's move on to the last one. Okay. Can you tell me have you heard something? Yes. So what are those sounds all about? The first one is a uh, uh the bird sound the different birds were chirping yes nandini very good the second one is the sound of the instrument the musical sound the sound of the piano the sound of the guitar and the sound where uh, if you go to kfc or any other uh, food court to a lot of sound of the human being you can hear right so those are all about the different different sounds right have you heard it yes so how can you hear this sound acha we will go to the yes the last sound is of the dog's bark very good nandini okay so before going to how we can hear can you anybody tell me what do you mean by sound how it is produced or anything about the sound because the sound chapter you have already studied in physics right yes i'm pretty sure that you have already studied about the sound light and all so quickly tell me what do you mean by sound yes so sound is a form of energy can be say 
yes which help us to hear everything so whatever we want to hear whatever changes the different sounds are produced uh, around us we can only hear when the sounds are producing and they can travel through the different medium right so always remember that the sound uh, can move when there is the presence of the medium yes sound is produced by the vibration very good very good nandini but have you ever wondered how this sound reached to our ear yes it is the vibration it is produced by the vibration and all so how we can hear it how it re it is received by our ears or uh, how it reaches to our ear any idea yes okay let's see let's uh, go to a little bit about the physics hai na chalo so we already know that the sound is a form of energy and they always need a medium whether it is a solid or liquid or a uh, gas whatever medium it can be a medium is always required for its traveling yes and the sound comes from one place to another when it travels it travels in the form of a wave and that wave we call it as the sound wave clear now see over here how the air molecules are vibrating the compression and rarefaction is happening as you have already studied it in physics that the air molecules they call the bell is ringing and the air molecules are going in a wave like form they are basically pressing all the molecules are pressing one another the second form of molecule then another the sec uh, third column of molecule like this it will press and by this uh, compression and rarefaction they will be traveling from one place to another and it will also enter inside our ears and then only we will be able to hear the sound agree with me yes so eventually all these air molecules close to our ear will start vibrating the different things which are present within our ear the different uh, parts of the ear also and that will help us to hear the sound yes okay great yes nandini uh, it enters the outer ear then it goes through the narrow passage and finally it will enter into the middle ear and then the inner ear so we can basically divide this ear into three main parts and then this three main parts the sound will travel by, uh, through this three main parts and ultimately it will go to our brain and the brain will tell us what is happening around us and we will be able to hear the sound it will be processed within the brain up to this much we already know yes exactly chalo so ear as we already know it is the sense organ and it help us to pick the different sound waves from around us and help us to hear the different sounds we already know about it this human ear can be divided into three main parts what are they inner ear in the just uh, this have a, a direct connection with the brain with the auditory nerve then the middle ear having most important uh, three small small bones and the outer ear that we can see from outside okay so let us see what are the different parts of the uh, ear which are present in the outer portion middle portion and the inner portion of the ear so let's see how the different parts of the ear work and help us to hear all the different types of sound so this is the total structure of the ear बाहर से तो हम अगर ईयर को देखते हैं तो इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल स्ट्रक्चर जस्ट वी कैन सी द पिना ऑफ द ईयर राइट दिस पोर्शन बट इफ यू सी द होल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द ईयर इट इज अ बिट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू आउटर ईयर मिडल ईयर एंड द इनर ईयर okay so let me discuss the main main portions the main main labelings which you have to remember about this outer ear middle ear and the inner ear all these labelings are not needed for your syllabus first of all is the ear lobe this you already know this is the ear lobe the pinna and it is made up of the uh, just the adipose tissue and the skin is there just inside it is the ear canal or we can also call it as the external acoustic meters okay so this is the ear canal 
And the third one which is present in the outer ear is the tympanic membrane or the ear drum. So this is a very important delicate portion of the ear so sometimes we can hear that uh, we can see that many persons are deaf they cannot hear anything properly why because this eardrum is damaged and the whole uh, mainly the vibration of the molecules goes inside it and first it will strike the eardrum and due to this vibration it will enter into the middle ear and this will help us to hear anything yes hi sort of okay let's now move on to the middle ear Middle ear mein kya hai? The three main bones. The three main bones are present in the tympanic cavity. So tympanic cavity is this portion and eustachian tube is a narrow portion which is coming and joining with our nose. Okay. So nasopharyngeal portion ke saath ye join ho raha hai. And the three main bones, the malleus, incus and stapes. These are the three main bones. Number one, two, and three and step us always remember this is the smallest bone of our body okay so ye malleus incus and step is these are the three bones which are present in the middle ear and the vibration of the molecule will pass on from the malleus to stapes from stapes to sorry malleus to incus and from incus to stapes and finally this e uh, stapes will be again connected with the inner ear with the oval window okay jai say either tha hamara uh, ear drum either or ek window hai that is the uh, membrane in between the middle ear and the inner ear and this will help the vibration to go inside it and inner ear may abhi ab jab jayenge to it will get inside the cochlea you can see the cochlea the snail shaped structure the vestibular nerve is there cochlear vestibular nerve which is uh, leading to the auditory canal and it will go like auditory nerve and it will go towards the brain okay and the semi circular canals are also present the three semi circular canals are present inside the inner ear Okay, yes, very good Nandini, the hammer and will and star up are the three common names of malleus, incus and stapes. Okay, so these are nothing but the same thing and uh, the same three small bones in our middle ear. So middle ear mein teen bones hai, inner ear mein hai, semicircular canal, vestibular uh, nerve and the cochlea and outer ear mein mainly hamara pinna hai and ear drum hai and ear canal hai. Up to this much clear? Yes. Now let's move on to the total detail of this ear. Before going to the details, let us see a 3D model of the ear. This is the whole ear. Okay. So let's start from the very first thing that is the auricle or the pinna. This is the outside of the ear. You already know this. So through this the air molecule will go. Okay. The vibration will start going from this one. Second is the lobule, the ear lobe, where we uh, wear the earrings. Okay. This is the lower lobe of the ear. Next, third is the auditory canal. This is the this is also known as the external acoustic meatus. That is the passage through which the um, air molecules will pass, and it will be connected with the uh, tympanic membrane or the ear drum, so that it can create some vibration on the ear drum, and it this vibration will go inside the middle ear. So, this is the eardrum or the tympanic membrane. The damage of this tympanic membrane will cause the hearing loss. Okay. So, be very careful. Do not put any sharp object inside the ear. Never. Okay. So, this is the eardrum, the connection between the outer, the outer ear and the middle ear. Fifth is the middle ear. So this total portion is the middle ear. You can see uh, this one, two and three bones are present. The medius, incus and stapes. I will show you the bones one by one. And this is the whole portion of the middle ear. 
so this is the malleus we call it as the hammer because the shape of this uh, bone is like the hammer okay so isliye hum hammer kehte hain isko next just joint with the malleus is the incus it is like the anvil and finally the another bone is the stipes which is the smallest bone okay so what is the work of the lobule if you uh, so the total work of the pinna is to uh, guard the um, like the vibration all the vibration is are not needed for our hearing right it basically help to control how much vibration will go inside us and we will be able to hear that much only without any harmful effect which will be created in our ears so this is the main thing it protects the inner portion of the ear basically theek hai na nandini chalo so this is the stepes or we can call it as the star up then is the oval window this is the window between the we can see this is the window between the inner ear and the mid middle ear now let's move on to the round window inside it which is known as uh, which is inside portion of the inner ear after that we can see the eustachian tubule this is the auditory tube which has a connection with the nose okay नेसो फेरिंग्स के साथ इसका मिडिल ईयर का कनेक्शन है देन द इनर ईयर हैविंग द सेमी सर्क्यूलर ट्यूब्यूज यू कैन सी द कॉकलिया इज प्रेजेंट लेट अस सी द सेमी सर्क्यूलर कैनल सो थ्री मेन सेमी सर्क्यूलर कैनल्स आर प्रेजेंट okay they are interconnected with the bony structure these are the vestibular nerves the different nerve terminals which are coming inside the ear this is the cochlea the spiral shaped or the snail shaped structure which is inside uh, the ear innermost part of the ear and within this the uh, fluid is present the hair cells are present which actually help us to receive all the stimulus properly and how much vibration should be going to our brain it will be controlled by all these things okay now coming to the vestibular cochlear nerve it is the eighth cranial nerve it will go towards the brain okay so whatever we are hearing all the messages the vibration will go towards the brain through this nerve and this is the uh, temporal bone very hard and rather it is at the base of the skull and we can also call it as the hardest bone of our body which will guard the whole inner ear so can you imagine that how much important our inner ear is that it basically is guarded by the hardest bone of our body and this is known as the petrous temporal bone fine so this is all about the whole structure of the ear i have already shown you the total structure hopefully you have already got an idea what are the three different parts of the ear so let's start with the function of these three parts right first is the outer ear outer ear consists of the three main things that is the pinna that is the auricle the total outer lobe next is the auditory canal or we can call it as the auditory meatus this one is the ear canal or the auditory canal and the third one is the tympanic membrane you can see this ear drum isko hum common name mein ear drum kehte hain so let us see what are the functions of this pinna is composed of the elastic cartilage skin of uh, like layer of skin and sometimes the adipose tissue and fibrous tissue is also there so that they can get a proper supply of the blood theek hai and this is the main portion which will receive or collect the different sound waves and it then it will transmit them into the inner side of the ear secondly the external auditory meatus it is the total canal shaped structure the curved slightly curved canal shaped structure it is lined with the wax gland and epithelium okay the stratified epithelium and wax gland and that is why if you have any sort of infection within your ear then a waxy thing comes up this is nothing but the secretion of this wax gland which is present within the auditory canal got it 
Coming to the third thing is the ear drum or the tympanic membrane. The drum will be heated by the different vi vibration, the sound waves, and then only it will get inside the middle ear. And the middle ear consists of the three bones which will receive those vibration. Got it? Let's move on to the middle ear now. So middle ear mein kya kya hai? Dekho, tympanic membrane. के बाद जो स्टार्ट होता है वही है मिडल ईयर मिडल ईयर में थ्री बोन्स है मेलियस इनकस स्टेपस दीज आर द थ्री बोन्स आफ्टर द थ्री बोन्स देयर इज द टिम्पैनिक कैविटी एंड यूस्टेशन ट्यूब सो दिस इज द टिम्पैनिक कैविटी जहां थ्री बोन्स रहता है एंड दिस वन इज द यूस्टेशन ट्यूब लेट्स सी What are the functions of this? So tympanic cavity में रहता है इट इज अ बोनी वॉल इन अर लाइक द टिम्पैनिक मेम्ब्रेन like the uh, air filled cavity separated from the external ear by the tympanic membrane and the bony wall aur ye isme jo rehta hai the tympanic cavity mein three ossicles rehte hain like the three bones of the ear and uh, the tube which will be connected is known as the eustachian tube and this eustachian tube is 4 cm long and it will इक्वलाइज अ प्रेशर द एयर प्रेशर को ये इक्वलाइज करते हैं इन बोथ द साइड ऑफ द टिम्पैनिक मेम्ब्रेन बाहर से भी अंदर से भी ये एयर प्रेशर को इक्वलाइज करते हैं एंड दिस टिम्पैनिक कैविटी विल बी कनेक्टेड विद द नेजो फेरिंग्स इसीलिए नाक का और कान का एक कनेक्शन है अंडरस्टूड अपू दिस मच यस चलो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द थ्री मेन बोन्स तो थ्री मेन बोन्स को हम क्या क्या कहते हैं कॉमन नेम में हैमर एंड व्हील एंड स्टरअप कहते हैं एंड बायोलॉजिकल नेम में हम मेलियस इनकस एंड स्टेपिस कहते हैं मेलियस इज अटैच विद द टिम्पैनिक मेम्ब्रेन सो दैट जो भी वाइब्रेशन टिम्पैनिक मेम्ब्रेन में आएगा इट विल मूव ऑन टू द मेलियस देन इट विल गो टू द इनकस एंड फाइनली इट विल मूव ऑन टू द स्टेपस एंड स्टेपस इज द स्मॉलेस्ट बोन ऑफ आवर बॉडी विच इज अटैच विद द ओवल विंडो which is present uh, which is basically the membrane present uh, or separating the inner ear and the middle ear right now abhi ye uh, malleus inca stapes se to vibration chale gaye now it will enter into the inner ear abhi hum dekhenge ki inner ear mein kya kya hai you already know the vestibular nerve and the cochlear nerves are present the cochlea the snail shaped structure is present you uh, and there are the semicircular canals are present the three semicircular canals so isko hum totally uh, वेस्टिब्यूलर एपरेटस कहते हैं तो वेस्टिब्यूलर एपरेटस में क्या आएगा बोनी लेबरिंद आएगा एंड मेम्ब्रेनस रेबरिंद आएगा तो बोनी रेबरिंद विल कंटेन द वेस्टिब्यूल द थ्री सेमी सर्क्यूलर कैनल एंड द टोटल कॉकलिया एंड द फ्लूड व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट विद इन इट इज नोन एज द पेरी लिंग ठीक है सो दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू कैन गेट फॉर वन मार्क के पेड़ी लिम्फ क्या है और कहाँ रहता है तो इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द बोनी लेबरिन नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द मेम्ब्रेनस लेबरिन की मेम्बेनस लेबरिन में बोनी लेबरिन भी है उसके साथ साथ सेक्यूल अट्रिकल द कॉकलियर डार्क सेमी सर्कुलर डार्क दीज आर ऑल एम्प्यूलरीज द ऑर्गन ऑफ कॉटी विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दे आर हैविंग द सेंसरी रिसेप्टर्स जो हेयर सेल्स रहता है ना विच बेसिकली वाइब्रेशन ऑफ दिस हेयर सेल्स विल हेल्प टू रिसीव द साउंड वेव्स की कितना लाउड साउंड है या फिर कितना लो साउंड है सो दिस विल ऑल बी प्रेजेंट विद इन दिस मेम्ब्रेनस लेबरिन एंड द फ्लूड विच इज प्रेजेंट विद इन द मेम्ब्रेनस लेबरिन दिस नोन एज द एंडोलिम्प ठीक है तो मेम्ब्रेनस लेबरिन में रहता है एंडोलिम्प एकदम इनर पोर्शन में और बोनी लेबरिन में रहता है पेरी लिम्प वो थोड़ा सा आउटर पोर्शन में अब तो दिस मच क्लियर यस so this is all about the different parts the outer middle and the inner parts of the ear hi he how are you after long okay great so uh, let us see what are the different functions of our ears uh, basically it help in the two main function that is hearing and balancing our body right so hear hearing all the different sounds whatever is happening around us as well as balancing our body our the total posture of our body okay so these are the two main functions of the ear
So let us now see one video the of this. part of the year is called the pinna. It funnels sound into our ears. The sound waves travel down the ear canal towards the eardrum. The eardrum is a membrane at the end of the ear canal and is extremely sensitive. Sound waves cause the eardrum to vibrate. The cochlea is filled with fluid, so as the eardrum vibrates, the vibrations pass on to the fluid. As the fluid vibrates, this causes the small bones of the ear also to vibrate. There are three small bones, the hammer, the anvil and the stirrup. The last bone, the stirrup, is connected to another membrane which covers the entrance to the cochlea. The vibrations pass through to the fluid inside the cochlea. Yes, so I've got a question from uh, Nandini ki how it helps in balancing our body. Yes, so mainly the semicircular canal and the vestibule, uh, vestibular apparatus, they both help us to maintain an equilibrium and maintain the total balance of the body. Along with that, the otolith is also there. Okay, so the uh, main parts of the inner ear help us to balance the body if you can't hear anything through the ears then you uh, try to do sometimes you will not be able to balance your body yes so these are basically helping us uh, to make an in uh, like equilibrium and help to balance the body fine now let's move on to the mechanism of hearing step by step kaise hum kuch koi bhi sound ko sun sakte hain First of all, the sound wave will enter into the auditory canal, then it will reach the eardrum. Eardrum mein wo jo bhi vibration produce hoga, it will then move on to the inner, uh, the middle ear where the three bones are present, that is the malleus, incus and stapes. Now, after going through this stapes, it will push the oval window in and out and the oval window may push karne ke baad, it will enter into the inner ear. Now, inner ear mein kya hai? It will be passed to the organ of forti, which is present in the cochlea. And there are the different receptors which will help us to hear anything. So, these hair cells, due to this vibration, they will convert those vibration into the electrical impulse. So, wo electrical impulse may convert kar denge and those electrical impulse will go through the sensory nerves or yeah, auditory nerves to our brain and then the brain will process and uh, it will tell us what we are hearing. So, these are the main, this is the whole main pathway how the sound can travel through the outer part towards the brain, outer part of the ear towards the brain. So let me tell you some of the fun facts or some of the main facts that is the temporal bone which is our ear, inner ear ko protect karte, that is the hardest bone in our body and we hear the music better on our left hand side rather than the right side. Okay so quickly tell me the answers now let me see now who will be the student of the session who can give me most of the answers correctly. So my first question is, which part of the our ear is shaped like the snail shell? Is it the cochlea or semicircular uh, canal or stapes or the eustachian tube? Yes, quickly. Nandini. Or anybody, I can see many of you are listening to the session. Quickly tell me this answer. Yes, which part of our ear is shaped like the snail shell? It is the cochlea, right? The spiral shaped structure. Okay, great. Now let's move on to very good Nandini. I've got your answer. So uh, let's move up to the second question. The three parts of the human ear contributing in hearing are. So many parts are there and they help us to hear everything. So what are the three main parts continuously help us to hear the different things? Hi, Pyle. So it will be the eustachian tube, tympanum and utriculus. Okay. Yes. Okay, uh, chalo. let's move on to the third question. Name the three ear ossicles. Quickly. 
three ear ossicles or the three bones of the middle ear and how do they contribute in hearing how they help us in hearing anything yes quickly quickly so the three ears uh, the three ear ossicles are malleus incus and stapes so the malleus it will be received by the malleus due to the vibration of the tympanic membrane okay and then it will go into the uh, malleus incus then it will go to the stapes and finally it will enter inside our inner ear hi harjit chalo let's move on to the fourth question where are the following located first one is the oval window and the second one is the cochlea where are they located inner ear mein ya fir middle ear mein or ya fir external ear mein and also tell me briefly about their function yes quickly quickly briefly tell me about their functions as well as their location so oval window basically is the membrane present in between the middle and the inner ear okay and help to guard the inner ear yahi iska function hai aur cochlea is the spiral shaped structure jo snail shell jaise dikhne mein hota hai and it is present in the inner ear jo हमारे कान से जो भी इलेक्ट्रिकल इम्पासेस है उसको ट्रांसमिट करते हैं टूवर्ड्स द ब्रेन थ्रू द ऑडिटरी नाम ठीक है सो दिस आर द मेन फंक्शन सो लेट अस सी व्हाट वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड वी स्टडीड अबाउट द टोटल द ऑर्गन ऑफ हियरिंग एंड बैलेंस दैट इज द ईयर द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द ईयर एंड फाइनली द फंक्शन ऑफ द ईयर राइट so let it be up to this much for today we will again meet in the next session so these are the different things the different parts of the ear which we have already discussed in the outer ear middle ear and the inner ear so thank you very much everyone for staying with us and let me see who is the student of the session student of the session is nandini for giving most of the answer from the beginning till the end of the class so everyone clap for nandini thank you very much thanks to all of you who have uh, who are there till the end of the session and for listening do not forget to like comment and share also and those who have not subscribed the channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you will get the notification before 30 minutes of each and every session you can attend the session and it will be benefited uh, benefit for you okay so thank you very much we will again meet in the next